of all, I would just like to extend a personal warm welcome to the M School, our distinguished guests, and of course, my LMU peers. Second of all, I would like to thank you for taking time out of your busy day to hear what we have to say. My name is Marie. I'm Sydney. I'm Scott. And I'm Tyler. And this is the inspiration that led to our creation. Now I'm going to implore you to entertain an idea for a moment. You just got your first job and it's going to be great. Um, let's be real here, Marie. No one looks good in that lighting. Um, <laughs> so it's only 11.50 a.m. and you're already swamped. You have 15 script coverages to do. The phone will not stop reading. I have to detail a car? What's a press kit? There are clients <laughs> waiting in the lobby. Rolling calls. And all you can think about is that you are absolutely starving. <laughs> Pizza was good for about a week, but then it gets really old. Chipotle is good too, but what's not pictured here is the poor intern who thought he was getting industry experience. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God somebody left a donut from this morning. And someone brought leftovers from that party last night. Or you could always just steal someone's lunch from the fridge. <laughs> Now considering this, assuming that you get off work at 5, if you're so lucky to do so, and then you're in traffic for an hour, do you really want to go home and cook? Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> 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 Guys, uh, you guys are driving me crazy. Want a solution? Busy balls. Why you guys are busy taking care of others, we're here to take care of you. Awesome. So the inspiration for our product came from a personal point of mine. I know this may be hard to believe, but I did grow up on a ranch, so we wanted to bring the farm fresh goodness that I experienced to our young professionals who don't necessarily have a healthy relationship with food. That being said, in combination with our bento box inspiration and the Harvard Healthy Food Plate, we came up with something great. So what is a busy ball? Your convenience has evolved over time. What used to be convenient was fast food. Now what's convenient is in the palm of your hand. So our product is delivery based. It's a delivery only restaurant and you'll be able to buy it through using our smartphone app or online. Our app will let you customize your meal and you can order it days before or hours before. And our concept will be in a deep bowl with compartments. And our menu is fresh and savory and revolves around a balanced diet. It'll be five, seven to $12 per meal. There's no hidden delivery fee because our company is delivery only. So how did we get here? How did we come to this product? We um, did extensive primary research involving six in-depth interviews, one focus group, and an online survey with over 100 respondents. And when we were assigned the project to reinvent the TV dinner, we wanted to know if people actually still eat TV dinners. Shut what we found <laughs> is that 51% of our respondents actually did eat them. So we asked the ones that do eat them why they do. They said that they were quick and convenient and inexpensive. And then we asked the ones that don't why they don't eat them. They said they taste bad and they're unhealthy. So we asked them then when they often eat TV dinners, and most of them said that they actually eat them at lunch. So we asked them if they're eating lunch at their office, and as you can see, 71% said that they do. And then we asked them how much they spend on those lunches, and an overwhelming majority said they spend, said they spend at least $8. So we next posed a question that basically proposed our idea in general form and asked if people would buy it. And 88% said that they, yes, they would use that service. So through our quantitative and qualitative research, we discovered that Young professionals are compromising fresh and healthy for convenient and fast. So the real issue here, time, their work, work life balance. And uh, uh, the bottom line here is price. So they wouldn't pay more if the food gets better. And also there's consumer mistrust where they don't believe we can actually deliver this service and product. And um, 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 so combining all those information, we uh, <laughs> still want customer insight, um, where millennials are known for multitasking, but multitasking itself is a myth. Um, there's a, like a central system in our like frontal lobe that um, basically um, prioritize one task at a time uh, when there's several um, tasks we're performing. And per by performing the so-called multitasking, uh, we actually decrease the IQ, our IQ and efficiency. So that's why uh, we cannot type up like an email while being on a phone. You can try this at home. 
we can help. That's why uh, young professionals are too busy taking care of their work instead of taking uh, good care of themselves. And that's exactly why we like they need someone to um, help them to get rid of all that distractions so that they can focus and get busy with their true aspirations. And so here we are, delivering only the best part of eating. So here's where we come in on our product positioning map. We measured the quality and nutrition and convenience. And right now, convenience is associated with um, poor nutrition and quality. And so our service, we'd like to put in the high category because it's very convenient and nutritious. And right now in New York, there is a delivery only based restaurant and it's very successful, and they're actually opening two new restaurants that are also delivery-based only, and there's not one currently in LA, so we want to take that first mover ad advantage. So this brings us to our target audience. We're going after 18 to 29-year-olds with lower-level positions and middle income. We were decided to focus on three distinct neighborhoods of LA, that being Santa Monica, West Hollywood, and Beverly Hills. However, after our extensive Nielsen research, we realized that our target audience doesn't live in Beverly Hills due to the <laughs> exorbitant costs that it takes to live there. So in terms of West Hollywood, we found out a few interesting things. The median income being $47,000 a year, and that our customers conducted a lot of their activities online, thus being banking, auto and renter's insurance, listening to music, magazines, such as Max and the Economist. This, however, is not to suggest that they're not out in the community taking part, such as they like to run, they like water skiing. I don't know where you do that in LA, but you tell me. <laughs> so then in Santa Monica, we decided, we discovered that there was about the same results except for the median <coughs> income of $71,000 a year. So this leads us to our consumer promotion, where we're putting the power back in our young professionals' hands. Basically, they're going to show us what they're doing with that extra hour of time that we're giving them. So they will upload videos to YouTube, based on how busy goals has helped change their lives over the past six months, and the most creative winner will win a smart car. Our second consumer promotion will come into play in year two. We would like to co-brand with local beverage and dessert companies in Los Angeles, such as like Health Aid, which is a popular kombucha drink amongst young professionals right now, and then Cupcake and Cookie. So now to our online presence. We're obviously gonna utilize the, the massive tool of the Google Display Network. We want to do search um, ads and do sidebar ads to show our product whenever people type in things like delivery, Los Angeles, fast, convenient food, stuff like that. This brings us to our Facebook campaign where we would upload exclusive content from behind the scenes making of our commercial. And we would also do a promo code. So if you buy three busy bowls, you get 30% off with the use of the promo code. This is excellent because it helps drive awareness as people share with their friends and helps drive sales. Well, we would also be active on Twitter and encourage our followers to um, make Busy Bowls a trending name and give them 50% off the next day as a result. And so for Instagram, obviously we're going to encourage our users to post pictures of their food as everyone loves to do and tag Busy Bowls in it, but the content we're going to post on our Instagram, we want to show people our kitchens. We want to address that. Um, that consumer insight, we found that users have a mistrust for delivery food and prepared food, and they don't know how it's made or where it's made. We want to show them exactly how we're making our food, that it's safe, clean, and healthy. Yeah, we're also going to tap into the um, food enthusiast community. Um, so we're, we're going to send our visibles to uh, prominent um, food bloggers to review. And um, given their you know, prominent like, um, creative, uh, the credibility, and expertise in the com uh, community, we believe that they can help us drive the, this movement. And here's the example uh, of our media content we're gonna put on YouTube. I've got more content for you. We're adapting it. So we need these notes ASAP. Lunch is between one and two, and I need that four. Hey, 
how's it coming? It's coming. Looks like you've got a lot of work to do. I'll leave you to it. I've got the solution for the goals to the rescue. Yeah. Next time, you can just use our app. You can say what time you'd like the meal delivered, and we update daily so that you have the freshest of choices. Bon appetit. I just had Dizzy Bowls. <laughs> <laughs> So now on to our media schedule. Um, as stated previously, our consumers do actually spend some time outside in the city, and so we want to utilize buses, bus shelters, and billboards. We're going to alternate them every month with a launch in November. Um, we also want to utilize radio spots for the morning commute within the first three months to really drive awareness. We're going to use Spotify and Pandora ads because our users use online radio quite often. Um, we want to use Facebook ads to geo-target and uh, tap into people's likes, preferences, and their social networks. We're going to use YouTube ads, the TrueView in-stream ads, so that people have an option to skip the ad. Um, we also want to do Yelp ads so that people um, will never type in Delivery Los Angeles. Hopefully our ad comes up on the right. And we're going to, as stated previously, use the Google Display Network. We want to um, sponsor networking events and then the smart cars, which gives us a year one media spend of a million dollars. We're only using a million dollars because we're doing a local LA launch, not a national launch. Speaking of launches, we're going to launch our product in collaboration with Digital LA and HRTS to help our young professionals make the connections they would like to make. So basically, Digital LA plus Busy Bowls equals great free food. <laughs> That's perfect. So how are we going to be successful? Well, we know we're going to be successful, and this is how we're going to measure it. Um, we're going to connect cu customers and measure referrals. We want to do this by researching the promo codes that were placed on Facebook to see how many people used the three-person promo code. We also want to conduct pre- and post-person surveys as well as uh, focus groups to see if we have superior attitudinal um, attitudes towards busy bulls. And finally, we want to have 250 positive Yelp reviews by the end of the first year. We hope to get 100 p plus people entering our promotion, Busy Benefit LA, and 1,000 plus promo code entries per year. In terms of social media, we hope to have constant engagement through our followers on all three sites. We're going to link Google Analytics to um, Busy Bulls digital pages, as well as hopefully have 10,000 app downloads because our app is our main channel for distribution, and we can see how many people are downloading it and how many people are actually using it. And here's the financials. As you can see in year one, we have a net loss, but 90,000 units sold, that's about 83 units per store per day. And by year three, we hope to expand to two stores with 140 units sold per day per store at a net profit of 1.625 million. Thank you and get busy. <laughs>
I understand you, you've thought about delivery, but how are you going to assure that the food is, is fresh when it actually arrives to the consumer? Refrigerated boxes in the cars. And our product is also seasonal. It changes with the seasons, so we can guarantee that the utmost freshness. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm struggling with the cost, mm -hmm. um, just because of what Eric said, and I agree. I'm curious about New York, what their prices are, and if they're doing it by bike. Mm -hmm. New York is actually, um, I looked into it, they're actually doing it by Vespa, and their costs were eight to $12 as well. Okay. Angela? Yes, um, um, I think it's really entertaining the way that you're able to dramatize um, the target audience who you're going after. Um, what type of loyalty program do you think would be compelling for them? Um, we want to do, we actually talked about that. We wanted to have, um, you know, if you buy a certain amount, like you could possibly get into like a subscription model that's a lot cheaper, or if you, you know, recommend your friends, you can get promotions and dollars off and stuff like that. Um, we didn't have like a completely developed loyalty program, but we do really want to reward our, reward our power users um, because, you know, they're the most important if they are the ones who will keep us in business as opposed to the ones who try it once and never try it again. Yeah. And uh, one program, uh, one thing we can implement is like a point system where you, uh, if you're a regular customer, you, uh, you know, got points off of every purchase you made, and then you can use those points to, you know, send a visible to one of your friends and colleagues and also help us to, you know, get our names out. Yeah. So now we're going to break for five minutes. After the break, we'll have teams four, five, and six. And what I